What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. So of course we have the York rework that was finally announced and we've also got the upcoming Warwick rework as well as the upcoming Assassin's rework being developed for the future recently and there's another rework that's actually getting quite a lot less attention. The Gallio rework has been confirmed for the future of course so let's take a look at what we know so far as well as what you can expect will go down in the future rework of Galio. And as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button. And if you don't, feel free to hit that dislike. And if this video gets, let's say, 6,000 ratings, I'm gonna buy myself a pizza. So I guess the biggest question to consider in the first place, of course, is why Galio? Because a lot of you guys might not have known that a Galio rework is going to be coming in the future. And the thing is, is that right now, Riot really feels like he's kind of just under delivering on his core concept of just being like this great big mythical anti-magic gargoyle kind of character, you know? Some of his kit is cool, some of it's powerful, especially his ultimate, but right now, you know, Galio has no gap closer, so he can't really enable his own ultimate very easily, and the rest of his abilities, especially his W, his passive as well, are honestly just pretty lackluster overall, like, they're just not really that interesting. You know, he's got a little bit of a mixed up identity as well, like he's kind of meant to be a melee character, but he has these abilities that really feel like they should be an arranged champion, you know, he's also, he's a tank, but he also has a focus on magic resistance, and he's a mage that functions a lot more like a bruiser, and he's kind of just got a really confused identity in terms of gameplay right now, and the only shining piece of his kit, his ultimate, is actually kind of hard countered by a lot of champions, I mean, Udyr, Braum, all sorts of stuff, and Overall, he's, at least the, to say it the way the Riders put it, he's just a little bit boring to play and kind of useless in a decent number of situations. So the overall goal for the Galio rework is definitely primarily to just put a lot more excitement into his kit while delivering a better experience of playing as that mythological creature sort of character. So we first heard news about a Galio rework actually a long time ago back in Season 3 when Riot Reckless Abandon was experimenting with some more interesting ways to manage his synergy with magic resistance. And because of his passive giving ability power for magic resistance and his ability scaling with ability power on the same hand, it's honestly kind of more like he ends up just scaling with magic resistance, which is a fairly interesting concept that is something that he would have liked to explore a little bit more. And Reckless Abandon put in a few changes to test out some things for Galio. He put in a new passive and tried out some new stuff and they ended up just being completely removed in favor of deciding that Galio just needed a full on rework instead. In the sense that the changes that they tested, although they were actually pretty solid, they weren't actually good enough and he just needed so much more and ended up being a bigger project. And this was something that was also confirmed by Riot Scruffy who said that a one skill change wouldn't really do Galio justice. And like Swain, he really needed a full blown rework rather than just, you know, being part of a group group roster update, and later down the road as well, Riot Meddler actually referred to the early comments made by Riot Reckless Abandon to explain why we still haven't seen any Galio updates, and honestly it's fairly simple, I mean he kinda just got overshadowed by the fact that there were so many other reworks that were just such a bigger priority than Galio. And as well, the problem with Galio was really that the changes were kind of just altering the issues Galio had, like they weren't really solving them, you know, they weren't really making it more satisfying to play or really just fixing any of the core problems in general. So the design that they did have for the Galio rework kind of fell through and, you know, put all those things together and you end up with a pretty long delay. It's been like three years now. And, you know, even though Galio isn't that popular to play, he actually does perform quite well in games. So there wasn't really, to put it the way the writers said, there wasn't really any space in his so-called power budget in the sense to essentially give him an alternative passive. The thing is that they can't give him a new passive because if they give him a new passive that's interesting, it would end up just being too powerful because there's no room in the rest of Galio's kit to where they can take power away in order to actually be able to justify putting on his passive. And this means that in order to justify new passive in the first place, they'd have to just take power from his already kind of just messed up kit that already has like 
weird designs and stuff, which would end up just being really bad overall because it, would, it wouldn't help him at all in terms of solving his issues because it would just make him a lot less fun to play overall, and he's already not that fun to play, at least in the eyes of the player base. And Ryan Medler again confirmed that Galio changes, of course, he confirmed this very recently that Galio changes were in the works when he was talking about the lack of Demacian and Noxious champions in the game, and he said that, you know, although they want to add more Demacian, more Noxian champions to the game, a lot of the prime champions for reworks are already aligned to those factions, you know, that Poppy, Scion, all sorts of stuff, and so they kind of just wanted to get the reworks out of the way before actually expanding them, and Galio is one of the characters that fits into that. So we definitely know for a fact that the Galio rework is happening at some point, but you know, what can we actually expect to see in his updated kit of course? And well, we haven't entirely heard a whole lot as far as specific abilities go, but we can definitely guess at a few things and there are quite a few things that are fairly obvious, I guess, and just by looking at his design. So Riot Reeve 3 mentioned that Galio was actually requested quite a lot for a rework and he would definitely be, you know, a full scale Scion, Tarek, Yorick level rework. So that definitely implies that a lot, if not every single one of his abilities is going to be updated in some way, shape or form. At the same time though, they do want to keep the fairly similar, same strategy, same playstyle kind of intact and just make his kit a little bit more modern and especially more interesting and have a little bit more depth to it. And considering the goals we mentioned at the start of the video, we can actually speculate what some of these changes are gonna look like, which is always fun, because it's definitely pretty nice to take a look at what could happen in the future. So for example, first off, we definitely expect to see a new passive from the updated Galio. You know, it's something that the riders have thrown around so much, and his magic resist synergy is actually really cool. It's a big part of what makes him unique, but it's also kind of a bit plain, and I personally would expect to see that magic resist scaling just exist on his other abilities naturally rather than in this weird sort of wonky passive form and his passive right now is you know it's definitely pretty plain and could be a lot more interesting and there's a lot of room for improvement that being said though it's also very likely that galio will remain as the tanky anti-mage sort of character that you kind of want to use to shut down those troublesome mid laners and riot definitely do like his ultimate as kind of like a huge payoff if he can set it up so i actually really do think that they would pretty much keep his ultimate or at least some version of it although you know they're probably going to make it so that it's not countered by things simple as just like auto attacks from like udir or brahm or something like that they're going to make it so that it doesn't really get countered by champion mechanics anymore at least that's what i would expect to see and if riot does decide to keep his ultimate it's also very likely that he'll keep some kind of way to maybe make himself tankier or perhaps a more sophisticated way of sustain rather than his awkward w Although, you know, hopefully it's going to be in a much better way than his W currently is because his W right now is just such a weird and honestly kind of just awkward ability in the sense that it it leaves players attacking Galio kind of in like a very weird sort of gameplay pattern that almost kind of creates like a lose-lose situation. And something that could actually happen is that they could take his W and put it on his ultimate to the sense where he only, he gets like this healing effect when targets attack him while he's using his ultimate. And then on the other hand, they would change his W completely to make it just a new ability, you know? And this could actually make a lot of sense because you know, the taunt kind of forces people to attack Galio in the first place. So giving the W active component as a part on the passive to Galio's ultimate is something that would make a lot of sense. And it would also be like really cool. It would feel good to play with as well and it would actually be a pretty good change and it's something that I personally am predicting. And you know, right now his W is actually a big part of what makes his kit kind of just so weird and uninteresting and I would definitely expect to see his W become a new ability overall, but still be something that kind of gives him a way to have that sort of tankiness or I guess the temporary tankiness in a sense, while also maybe giving it a little bit more counterplay for opponents, because actually right now it doesn't really have all that much counterplay, right? Because you kind of just have to wait for it to run out or just power through it, which isn't exactly the best gameplay pattern. So, you know, I definitely expect his W to become a new ability. As for Galio's Q, Resolute Smite, this ability right now is kind of a bit boring. You know, it's just a skill shot nuke with an area of effect. But the thing is that it's it's a very good ability for what he tries to accomplish and he's definitely still going to need a way to poke and wave clear and 
all that sorts of stuff to make picking him up as a mid laner worthwhile in the first place so that his laning phase isn't just terrible so I'm not entirely sure if this ability is going to get changed and even if Riot does end up changing it it's definitely going to be something that's very similar or something that fits a very similar role. This ability can be kind of awkward to land sometimes though so maybe making it a little bit easier to hit but less damaging or maybe on a slightly lower cooldown or especially on a lower mana cost as well could maybe make his kit a lot more fun to play with you know especially for people picking up Galio for the first time and he might lose the Righteous Gust on his E ability actually in exchange for maybe a more effective gap closer of some kind or something like that like I would actually very much expect to see him get some sort of mobility because this Galio rework is all about making him more fun to play and more interesting for players to pick up and some sort of mobility is something that would really make Galio just an extremely awesome champion in terms of just how fun he is to play. Can't say the same for his balance perspective, but it's something that would make him really fun, and as a result, it's something that I would really expect to see on him just because of the philosophies that Riot has going in with this rework. Because sure, you know Galio, he's not the most fun champion, but the thing is, is that he's not really like the most imbalanced champion. Like, I don't think that many people would think, you know, oh, Galio, that guy's so broken, right? I mean, you know, maybe if you, you look at assassins, you say that, you know, a big part of why the assassins are getting changed is to make their kits healthier, but Galio doesn't exactly need that. Maybe to some extent, some minor parts here and there, but overall his kit isn't that unhealthy. It's definitely not nearly as bad as some of the other champions getting reworks. It's really just more about making him more fun to play and just more interesting, really pushing his theme as well. And overall, I would expect to see him get some sort of mobility. Maybe it'll be his new W or something. I mean, who knows? It's hard to know for sure because again, there, he does have like a limited power budget. You know, they can't just take power from nothing and then put it on something. So it's, it's a little bit difficult to know what's gonna happen for sure overall, but I'm really excited for the Galio rework and I'm definitely looking forward to it. And who knows, he might actually get some new mechanics or something like that as well. And you know, overall, whatever direction Riot ends up going with the Galio rework, it seems like the focus is of course, just gonna be on making him more fun to play, more fun to play against too maybe, which is definitely gonna be a good thing for the game. And overall, it's looking like it's gonna be a pretty optimistic rework overall. It doesn't seem like there's that much room for mistakes outside of just balance issues compared to some of the other reworks. And you know, that's gonna wrap up our video for Galio's future rework. You know, we'll probably revisit the topic once more information comes out about the changes that Riot settles on for sure. Either way, looks like that's gonna be it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.